In this tutorial, we will go over the different upgrades that are available for your mech, as well as detailing the bonuses and drawbacks that each one provides. There are four different upgrades available. Double heat sinks, endo steel structure, ferrofibrous armor, and Artemis missile guidance. First up is double heat sinks. This upgrade increases the effectiveness of your heat sinks while also causing them to take up additional critical slots. The amount of effectiveness varies depending on the type of heat sink, internal or external. To fully explain this, we need to talk about the interaction between engines and heat sinks. For every 25 rating, an engine has a free heat sink built into it, up to a max of 10 at 250. These are referred to as internal heat sinks and are increased by 100% when upgraded. After 250, engines gain an optional slot every 25 rating, up to a max of 6, in which heat sinks can be fitted inside in order to save on critical slot space. Any heat sinks fitted into these slots or elsewhere on the mech are called external heat sinks and are increased by 40% effectiveness. While internal heat sinks come free with the engine, external heat sinks do cost additional tonnage and critical space in the design. What makes the DHS upgrade so powerful and basically mandatory for mech design is the fact that the internal heat sinks, which cost no additional tonnage or critical slots, are increased by 100% when upgraded. This means that any mech can essentially double its heat efficiency for no additional cost to the design beyond the initial C-bill investment. Next up is endosteel and ferrofibrous. I'm going to lump these two together since they do essentially the same thing, trading critical slots for spare tonnage. Both of these upgrades cost 14 critical slots and free up tonnage by lowering the weight of your mech's internal structure and armor respectively. Endo Steel lowers the weight of your mech's internal structure from 10% of the mech's total mass to 5%. Ferrofibrous lowers the weight of your mech's armor by providing 12% more armor per ton. Note that this doesn't increase the amount of armor your mech can equip. It only means that each point of armor costs slightly less tonnage. In terms of effectiveness, since they cost the same amount of internal structure, Endo Steel always outperforms ferrofibrous armor when it comes to saving tonnage. For example, on a 100 ton Atlas, Endo Steel saves a whopping 5 tons, while Ferrofibrous only saves 2.05 tons at max armor. Because of this, Endo Steel should always be favored over Ferrofibrous when the mech has critical slot space for only one of the upgrades. Both upgrades should only be applied to mechs that need to squeeze out every possible ton, such as light mechs that require most of their tonnage to be tied up in a large engine. Also, some mech designs may not want to pay the cost of the critical slots such as energy-based builds that may want to save every last critical slot for equipping additional double heat sinks. Last up is Artemis Missile Guidance. This increases the accuracy and tracking capabilities of your SRM and LRM missile launchers. This comes at the cost of requiring one extra ton and critical slot for each launcher you equip. This upgrade has no effect on streak missile launchers. They receive no benefits or pay extra costs. SRMs receive a much tighter missile spread when fired and can be more accurately placed on a single enemy component, even out to their maximum range of 270 meters. LRMs receive a similar tightening of missile spread, as well as faster lock-ons and increased tracking strength. The ability of the missile to keep up with the movement of the enemy mech. It is important to note that Artemis LRMs only have these bonuses if your mech has a direct line of sight on the target. If you are firing your LRMs indirectly through the use of a spotter, there is no benefit from Artemis. Because of this, Artemis may not be a worthwhile upgrade if you find that you only fire your LRMs indirectly. While these descriptions are correct for inner sphere mechs, there are some slight differences for clan omni mechs that we need to cover. Clan mechs are unable to change their upgrades beyond Artemis missile guidance. It is impossible to change the type of internal structure, armor, or heat sinks on a clan mech. While they are unable to change these three upgrades, when they are applied to a clan mech, they are more effective than their inner sphere counterparts. For example, while clan double heat sinks follow the same rules for internal and external heat sink effectiveness, they only occupy two critical slots compared to three. Endo steel and ferrofibrous take up only seven critical slots compared to 14. However, these slots are locked instead of the dynamic slots for IS, leading to some critical space conflicts. Also, ferrofibrous is increased to 20% more protection per ton compared to 12% for IS. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good hunting.